Minister Arselborn, dear Zhong, good to see you back in Jakarta. It's always a pleasure to welcome you here. Luxembourg and Indonesia share a long-standing friendship. Luxembourg is one of the first European countries that recognize Indonesia independence. Personally, as I mentioned during the meeting, that Minister Asselborn is not only a good colleague for me, but also a long-time friend. And this morning, before this meeting, we had a morning walk at Gelora Bung Karno Stadium, and we started to discuss briefly the global situation. And during the bilateral meeting, we discussed, of course, the bilateral relation, as well as some regional and global issues. On the bilateral relation, first we discuss about the economic cooperation. I welcome the significant growth of Luxembourg investment to Indonesia, an increase of 732% in the first quarter of 2023 compared to previous year. Trade is also increasing of 15% over the past five years. We explore further possibilities of cooperating with Luxembourg in building ICT infrastructure and the exchange of expertise and sharing best practices in the field of Sharia finance. We share also the same views on the importance of finalizing the negotiation of Indonesia EU Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement as soon as possible. Efforts and building trust are needed for Indonesia and EU to reach to finish the line of to, to reach the finish line of negotiation. I also mentioned Indonesia concern on the new policy of the EU, that is the EU deforestation uh, regulation, as I also mentioned during my meeting with the Slovenian foreign minister yesterday. So a joint mission of Indonesia and Malaysia will travel to Brazil this end of uh, May to discuss about this situation. Second, on transport and logistic cooperation, this afternoon, Minister Asselborn and Minister Budikarya Sumadi will sign the Air Service Agreement. This agreement will promote connectivity, facilitate business opportunity, especially in the cargo sector. Mm -hmm. Cargo Lux has been increasing its flight to Indonesia, mm -hmm. becomes two flights a week. I encourage Luxembourg to utilize Batam as a hub for cargo flights in the ASEAN region. Third, on health cooperation. Investment cooperation on health becomes more important than before. I welcome Luxembourg investment to build a medical refrigerator production facility in Karawang, which has operated since October last year. We hope that this technology will contribute in improving healthcare facilities, strengthen vaccine production capabilities, and establish Indonesia as part of the global medical supply chain. Today, Minister Asselborn will visit Dharma's Cancer Hospital to witness the showcasing of a cutting-edge technology by a Luxembourg company, B Medical System. On regional issue, I greatly appreciate the support of the EU, particularly Luxembourg to ASEAN, including the centrality of ASEAN and on the implementation of five-point consensus to address Myanmar issue. On the Indo-Pacific, mm -hmm. I would like to reiterate what I said during the Stockholm meeting 11 days ago. I met Minister Asselborn in Stockholm 11 days ago. That all countries should put priorities and contribute to make Indo-Pacific a region of peace and prosperity. ASEAN, through ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific, believes that inclusive and concrete cooperation will contribute to attain 
peace and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific. So that is all from me. Now I would like to invite Minister Asselborn to deliver your views. Jean, please. Merci. I have to push here. No. No. Thank you very much, dear Retno. Uh, I am very, very glad to be here again. The last time I was here was in 2017. Uh, needless to say that the world has changed uh, dramatically since then, but uh, I am here also as a friend of uh, Minister Marsoudi of uh, Retno. And, uh, you know, foreign, in foreign policy, uh, friendship is a very, very important uh, element. So after 2017, we had uh, to face the pandemic. Uh, we have now a war on the European continent. Uh, we have uh, coup d'etat in, in Myanmar. The impacts of climate change and uh, overarching geopolitical competition, the consequences of which are being uh, felt in all fields and I think also on all uh, continents. Uh, there are essentially the issues we talked about. Uh, they remind us how important it is uh, that we, as democracies uh, and staunch defenders of peace, of uh, free trade and rules-based multilateralism, that we stick together. Uh, Luxembourg is a country of uh, such a different size than yours, <laughs> yet uh, uh, one of the most open economies uh, in, in the world. Uh, we try to play an important role when it comes to financial services and investments, especially, as I said, to retinal the green and sustainable finance, logistics and transport, uh, space and digital connectivity, or academic cooperation. In uh, 2022, Luxembourg uh, was the seventh largest investor uh, in Indonesia, and uh, we can and we should do more. That was uh, our conclusion of this morning. Uh, for instance, did you know that uh, Luxembourg Stocks, Stock Exchange listed uh, the first green bond already in 2007? Uh, they have been a true pioneer in bringing uh, the power of finances to the fight against climate change. Uh, I mentioned to Minister Retno that Luxembourg would be an ideal location uh, for the listing of green and sovereign bonds issued by uh, Indonesia. Uh, my country is also uh, home uh, to a thriving space ecosystem uh, with over 80 public, private and academic actors, uh, some of which are already active here in Indonesia. Another of our flagships and Retno mentioned it, is Beam Medical Systems, uh, the global market leader in cold uh, chain solutions, has been working in Indonesia for many years, uh, supporting national immunization campaigns, including COVID vaccination above all, uh, the Indonesian Red Cross, etc. And I look forward to visit, as Retno mentioned, uh, the uh, Darmais Cancer Hospital uh, tomorrow. As a member of the European Union, Luxembourg remains strongly committed to conclude negotiations uh, for an ambitious comprehensive economic partnership agreement, SEPA, uh, with Indonesia. Uh, there are still two or three very important points to find where we should find a solution, but uh, we are uh, on the good way. I am pleased also uh, to announce you uh, to, uh, that I will be able to sign in, in a few minutes, uh, or in a few hours, uh, between Luxembourg and Indonesia, uh, together with the Indonesian Minister of Transportation, Mr. Sumadi, uh, an agreement establishing a robust legal framework for our national freight, car uh, freight carrier Cargolux. Uh, we are already present here as Cargolux twice a week, and we want even to increase uh, this uh, presence here. On academic cooperation, that's also very important for, for young people, there is a possibility that um, uh, scholarships uh, are uh, implemented and, uh, in, in Luxembourg, on the University of Luxembourg, and uh, we wish that a lot of students will be able to come to Luxembourg. Uh, tomorrow I will uh, hold a lecture at the University uh, of uh, Indonesia, and it is uh, to show the importance of diplomacy, uh, and I am very, very... Uh, 
interested in seeing this exchange with students. So uh, Indonesia uh, is a remark plays a remarkable role in 2022 uh, when it um, came to this G20 meeting in Bali, a very, very important meeting, and I think that uh, Retno, uh, with all her uh, engagement and uh, diplomatic power, tried to find a solution, and uh, Indonesia has done very well. Let me just, to finish, say one word on uh, this war that I mentioned. Uh, this war, Russian war in, uh, in Ukraine, uh, we have to underline always uh, two very important points. First, this is not a war uh, limited uh, on the West or on the Western side of the world. Uh, it is uh, a war that is directed against values that we share in Indonesia and in the European Union. It is an aggression of Russia against uh, Ukraine, but it is also an aggression against sovereignty, against uh, the respect of uh, the borders, and uh, yes, and also the freedom of um, a neighbored country. Uh, if uh, this uh, would be an example that will um, that, will, that could be repeated in other places of the world. I think that uh, all the international law, the fundamentals of the international law, will crash, and uh, this uh, we have to avoid. So I congratulate Minister Retno on Indonesia's economic and geopolitical weight, uh, and the space uh, is too rightly claims within ASEAN. The region undoubtedly uh, has a lot to gain from Indonesia's leadership, and we talked about uh, Indonesia's culture of peace, respect for diversity, and also for tolerance, and above all, as you mentioned, uh, right now, the young generations, be it in the European Union, be it here in Indonesia, we have to try to find ways that they can live also with their children and uh, with the uh, yeah, in, in the next uh, 50 years in peace and also in freedom. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean.